Welcome everyone to JSA TV Live, the live streaming newsroom for telecom and data center professionals. I'm Jamie Scott Ukataya, CEO of JSA. Welcome, welcome everybody. And joining me today, we're really excited to have from beautiful Vancouver, Collagix's own Callum Morrison. Callum, welcome to JSA TV Live. Thanks so much, Jamie. Yeah, it is beautiful today. It's a bit of a rarity sometimes uh, during the winter and early spring months, but the sun is shining in Vancouver. Happy to be here with you. Uh, happy to have you. Happy to have you. And yeah, Vancouver is just uh, one of the top most beautiful cities on my list. So um, so really, uh, weather, weather aside, it's just beautiful. People are beautiful, oh, too. So got to so give our love out to Vancouver. If it's um, raining in the city, it's snowing in the mountains. That's what we always say. So I agree with you there. <laughs> Now, I heard that Collagix has just shared some really exciting news about your partnership with AWS, no small logo there, in your Vancouver data centers, which uh, pictured behind you. But before we get into that, can you tell us first a little bit about yourself and your background at Collagix? Sure. Um, really exciting news, I agree. Uh, looking forward to discussing that. Um, my background is, is from the tech sector. Um, before that, I was uh, playing competitive sport for a large majority of my early adult uh, life. So um, migrated that, uh, a very quick, abrupt end to it, but migrated that into um, a job at a startup here in Vancouver. Uh, a few years after being involved with that and in a sale, um, found myself with CoLogix uh, as an account director. Um, what that means for me is that, uh, and my customers and, and prospects and clients is that um, I consult on everything from co-location to network to what we're increasingly finding is uh, hybrid co-location deployments, which have a cloud element to them. Um, that's kind of part and parcel of what we'll be talking about today. But really what I do is a, a pro, basically, a, I would say, a, a PM from every sense of the word. So designing uh, deployments, um, looking at legal frameworks that are agreeable between companies, um, looking at network uh, abilities and and the right solution for people in terms of their network needs. So there's there's a large variety of what an account director does at CoLogix and you know that ranges from across our North American portfolio and variety of locations to someone that just wants to go in, inside one of our Vancouver data centers. So really exciting space to be in and I find myself uh, really excited to come to work every day and, and look at the challenges we face and, and solve them. Yeah and CoLogix of course known for its client first uh, client forward uh, philosophies and you're an embodiment of that. So awesome, oh. awesome. Thank you so much. Yeah, I always say we're, you know, we're a top five provider in, in North America in terms of our size and our portfolio, but you really do get a boutique sense of uh, the customer centric focus that we have here. Um, we really do care about what people are doing in our data centers. And we make it very easy for them to accomplish a lot of uh, pretty cool deployments and pretty cool things with their business. Yeah, you really can feel that too uh, from an outsider appearing in. Um, oh, so wait, let's go ahead and get to the headlines here. Our, our, our recent news, Collagix, of course, what is it, last week making this announcement uh, in Vancouver? Tell us about the announcement. I don't want to steal the news, the thunder from you. Oh, and, yeah, no. And tell us so, what it means also for your customers. Yeah, so great. I think, um, you know, AWS has made a focus on kind of bridging the gap between things that are all in the cloud and, and things that, people might want to put a little bit closer to where to where their hubs or where their eyes or their consumers are and so the announcement is that we're a preferred partner of their outposts which is a fully managed suite uh, of aws hardware um, you can pick and choose what you need you can put in a full rack of a aws servers capable of ec2 and um, what we are is is what they prefer people to kind of utilize in terms of a co-location provider um, we house the aws direct connect which is their network on ramp so um, we'll get into some of the requirements that these these outposts and outpost servers have, but um, AWS has kind of determined their infrastructure is with CoLogix, and and I think so should yours be. I think basically is kind of the message there. Yeah, and you know what? Um, some of our viewers and myself included may have thought that enterprises would have AWS outposts on prem, right? And and therefore no need to access them via Collagix data center, but can you explain a little bit about why these outposts play such a critical role for enterprise clients um, via Collagix? Absolutely, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll kind of take it in two parts. I think the first part is, you know, why why aren't these things going on in people's offices or, or in people's buildings, right? Mm -hmm. And um, when you start to kind of get into the weeds a little bit on, on outposts and, and what they require, I think it really lends itself into a co-location environment uh, instead. The, the first one, 
is that you need to be compliant with all the all the documentation that your business requires. So whether that's a, a health entity requiring HIPA compliance, um, you know, a, a financial entity that requires PCI compliance, or whether you just require SOC 1, SOC 2, and ISO designations in your business to protect people's data, um, you still have to maintain that environment around your, your outpost. So no matter whether your building can handle the power requirements, which I'll get into in a second, or the network, um, you still need to maintain that secure environment around your outpost post to mm. be completely compliant with the gear that they're giving you. Um, another part of it is the, is the power. So um, an outpost rack starts at five kilowatts of redundant power. And, and that can be quite an undertaking for uh, a building um, to input that power infrastructure, but also to back up that power infrastructure with right. generators and UPS units, which is what CoLogix kind of excels at. Um, you know, we, we employ N plus one environments to, to take care of things when the power does go out, which inevitably is happening with changing climate and and variable conditions on, on the power grid. So um, the power part is tough. It starts at five kilowatts, it goes to 10 and, and 15, depending on how much gear you want in your outpost. So that's no easy task for, for every office building to accommodate. Um, yeah. third, the, the third part that I, third and fourth part that I kind of put, put together are, are the network requirements. So there's diverse switching that needs to go into your outpost. Um, that usually, if you're a large enterprise, requires redundant connections with diverse providers, network providers. So um, not every building will have that on net. And if you do want to put that on net, uh, it could be a very prohibitive CapEx cost to get that network uh, network entity on net to your building. So CoLogix, we're network neutral. Um, we build uh, enterprise grade colo facilities with a variety of network providers that you can choose from. And, and we are neutral. We don't care who you go with. We want to provide you the best solution, um, either from your office to the data center or from the data center to another location around the world. Um, so that's the, the last part. And then I think the, the sort of very final part, which kind of combines your network, is that you do need to still connect to the availability, availability zone or the region of AWS. Um, that's for some diagnostic and upgrading capabilities that they want to do to your outpost. And so we are the direct connect location. And so you can basically do all of it in our data center, your network, your power, your compliance. It all comes as one. And then you can connect into that direct connect node with some pretty cool automation capabilities that our, that our product team out of Denver has. Amazing. Um, yeah. Amazing. So compliancy, power, diversity, and direct availability of AWS. Um, That's right. All, all great reasons to, to go and leave it to the experts over at Cologix. Um, so what, what demand are you seeing for this deployment model and, and what industries may be first in line to go ahead and adopt it? Yeah, I mean, I think the demand for direct connect connectivity has been increasing um, exponentially over the last little while. I think people, a lot of people put their stuff into the cloud and then they sort of consult on their network afterwards, right? Which is always a, a tough mm -hmm. way to do things. So we're seeing lots of requests for direct connect nodes and, and really anyone that's looking to employ outposts is someone that's very, very latency sensitive. So, you know, the region of AWS currently uh, lies in Montreal. So if you have light sensitivity um, where that latency between your site or your core and that that AZs and the, and the availability zones there can't that doesn't suffice for you. It's you know an example of that would be um, healthcare, uh, financial, um, anyone that's doing trading. Uh, media is a large uh, seg segment that we're finding. If you're producing or bringing content to people, you can't afford to have latency. So what an outpost really does, the very simplest essence of it, is it takes the AZ that's currently in Montreal and it brings it wherever you want. All right. Love that. So where can our viewers go, particularly those who like speed? <laughs> where can they go to learn more? Yeah, I'll, I'll say one more thing on the, the verticals. I mean, okay. as IoT and, and 5G start to roll out, I think um, the telcos become very, very big consumers of this, mm -hmm. um, a, as well as we're starting to see some some big uh, employers of IoT, like manufacturing, et cetera. Um, you know, anyone that's doing research that's latency sensitive as well, they need the results. Um, directly input into their engines. Um, those are some other verticals that we we are seeing uh, start to employ these uh, deployments. Uh, where can people go? Our website is fantastic. It has virtual tours. It has uh, an email that you can contact, sales at cologix.com as well. Um, that'll put you in touch with the right person in your market uh, to consult with you on all your co-location, hybrid networking uh, needs. Uh, we, can, we can pretty much solve most of it. So um, please get in touch with us. We would love to help out with whatever you're, you're planning. 
Callum, thank you so much. Your insight, your time. This has been really informative. Such a short amount of time yet. I got I got so many uh, good little nuggets from you. Thank you so much. And thank you viewers also for tuning in to JSA TV Live. Go ahead and follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter. And of course, as always, happy networking. Thanks so much, everyone.